Toledo does not support the heartbeat abortion bill. That's the message city council sending with a resolution opposing the legislation that would ban abortions after six weeks. As Emma Henderson shows us, reaction to the resolution is mixed. Females in the womb. You represent speech. Females in the womb. There are children. An uncommon outburst after Toledo City Council approved a resolution that says in part that the heartbeat bill, quote, negatively impacts efforts by the city of Toledo to attract businesses, young professionals, and entrepreneurs who help drive local economic activity and growth. Councilman Nick Homives brought it forward with Councilwoman Yvonne Harper after a protest he attended. At, um, at that event, the request by the folks that were out front protesting uh, was to introduce a resolution to overturn the bans at the state level. While the resolution doesn't change anything, Executive Director of Toledo Right to Life, Ed Sitter, says it sends a message that causes divisiveness in the community. I, I am so disappointed in what I thought were a lot of level-headed, common-sense, members of council. On the other side, Kristen Haiti, a volunteer escort coordinator at Toledo's only abortion clinic, says she believes the resolution represents the majority of Toledoans. It's great to have legislators that will actually listen to the constituents and vote in their favor because Toledo is overwhelmingly pro-choice. During the hearing, Councilman Rob Ludeman, who voted against the resolution, argued it's something that shouldn't be heard at all since it addresses legislation that was passed at the state and not the local level. Obviously we have a very democratic city council, so every time a resolution toward Columbus comes around, they're pointing toward the Republican majority down there. Councilman Gary Johnson decided to sit out the resolution, saying he was conflicted and didn't want to vote either way. In downtown Toledo, Emma Henderson for WTOL 11.